Hello everyone, it's Dupem here again. I welcome you all to my kitchen. So before we get into the cooking, I just want to appreciate my new subscribers and my old returning subscriber. And for those who is watching without subscriber, I say may Almighty God bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you're supporting my channel, I say may Almighty God also support you in which area you need His support in the mighty name of Jesus. So, in today's videos, I'm going to show you guys how to make a furrow and also how I made my own. Simply means stew spinach. So, and I'm going to use fish and uh, shrimp to make it. So with that way, I know that you guys will love it. And if you love it, don't forget to subscribe. Just give me the beautiful thumbs up. So let's get started now. So here is my fish and into the plates I got my onion powder, that is paprika, black pepper, a little bit seasoning powder and salt to taste with my onion powder. So, and salt to taste. I'm just going to be adding all the seasoning on my already clean fish. And I'm just going to use my hand to massage all over the fish. So the fish will be covered with the seasoning. So once that will be done, I'm going to cover up the fish. And I will be setting it aside to marinate about 10 to 15 minutes. Too longer is fine, but don't let it be lower about 10 minutes or thereabouts so as the fish will be absorbing all the beautiful flavor i'm going to be blending my pepper so i got four bell peppers two scotch bonnets and one bowl of onions if you feel the heat is going to be too much using two scotch bonnets feel free to use one all round so now So now I'm done with blending my peppers so I go on and set aside so now I'm going to add some vegetable oil on my pot and inside the pot inside the veg inside the pot that I add the oil I'm going to add some onion which the onion is going to do two things to me number one the oil reduce some smokes in the oil and number two is to add more flavor in the oil and right away I'm going to 
right away the oil is hot the fish is going in right away right away as you can see the fish So now I'm going to turn it over. As you can see, the other side is well brown. So we need to turn it over to the other side. So now guys, the fish is well browned and I'm going to remove it from the oil and I'll be setting it aside. So as for the oil, as for the oil that I used to fry the fish, I'm going to pour it inside the bowl and I'll keep it so that I will be using it for other of my soups and stew. That's exactly what I will use it for. In another pot, I'm going to add my, my palm oil. I really don't like to brush my palm oil. So once my palm oil is melted, I'm going to add onions. And the onion is going to be heating with it oil until the onion is well brown so i now add i'm i'm now stirring my bell peppers so the bell peppers i'm going to cover it up to allow it to cook until the bell pepper reduce and it will take about 15 a little more time so now my bell pepper is well reduced. So now I'm going to add my locust beans. I add my locust beans, crayfish, one seasoning cup or two, depending the quantity of your soup, and salt to taste. As you can see, as you can see, I use locust beans in this recipe. It gives this, it gives this soup a super deeper flavor. It's very good to use it. However, if you don't have it, you can totally so skip. Now you can see that I it. added my shrimp. But sorry, before I add the shrimp, I've already added my fish. So and allow the fish to absorb the stew. So I, when I add the fish, I covered it. So after some minutes, I removed the fish to avoid pieces inside the soup. So I removed the fish before I added my shrimp. I'm sorry to do so. I didn't show you my camera. I don't know my camera went off. I don't know what happened. So it can happen to anybody. So pardon my manner. That is how I do it. But now... I start, now it's time to add my spinach. That is what I'm doing soon. So guys, remember what I told you. Before you add your shrimp, you need to add the fish. The Our mackerel fish, we need to add it to absorb the stew flavor. So after some minutes, you remove it before you add your shrimp and some minutes, you add your vegetable. 
that is the spinach and give it so all you have to do at this point is stir it together until everything is beautiful coated with sauce if you feel if you feel this too is too dry feel free to add water a little bit so here we go guys this is smelling so good but finally before we go before we go finally add our fish at this point we leave oh we finally add our fish after stirring it you know we stir it everything will be coated At this point, guy, I'm going. I'm adding my my crayfish, and after adding it, I will cover it to cook like three to five minutes. No wait any longer because the longer we go, the spinach will lose this its vibrant colors. So you don't. So we don't want that to happen, guys. As you can see. As you can see it, and that is it, guys. This turned out beautiful and well. Mama, yeah. This is my lecture a for using my crayfish and of course shri shrimps. Hmm. It's very tasted nice and smells so good. So guys, watch it and see. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Okay, guys? What I use in this video should be found in the description box below. Until next time, see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in.